Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, The Andersons. I'm Nat. And I'm Dems, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, watching another video, for staying tuned to another video. If you're new here, what up for the babes? Please subscribe. Like. Comment. Share. All of the good things, them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the good things, them. <laughs> Anyways. In today's video guys, we will be sharing you guys, with you guys how to survive on a part-time income as an international student in Canada. So people, oh, it, it depends on your situation, that's our first thing. If you are here by yourself or if you are here with a family. Or you live with family. Or you live with family. So it all depends on your situation. So the first thing we're going to do, people, before we get to telling you guys um, how we think you can survive as an individual, whether you live with a family or not, or by yourself, we're going to just share how we survive <laughs> by a part time income for two years, pretty much. Because I was an international student from 2019. And then I graduated, of course, as you guys know, which means say yo, we could not only work for 20 hours, which is a little bit of money. So I'm gonna begin by sharing to you guys. How did we survive? How did we survive, babes? Me work. <laughs> That's it. Me work. And you just got school, me sending us school. That's how we survive. <laughs> I work two jobs. So basically it help it helped to basically um take care of the family. It wasn't much, but it helped. It even his part-time work, his twenty-hour work helped. So, yeah. Yeah, and that is um, what we want to come to first. If you're here with your family, your spouse who is joining you in Canada, basically for them rule of really just work. Senegal school. Ah, Senegal <laughs> school. And it's all now here, but uh, I choose because one, it is very expensive if you live in Canada right however there are so many opportunities as you know and there's always um, a lot of job potential and opportunities as you also know so there's opportunities to earn to cover all of them expenses there mm -hmm. but one person income kind of difficult if it is that you're trying to live a family life mm -hmm. you understand so the spouse have to be willing to work two jobs and sometimes three jobs because my but, tell but it also depends on the type of work the, the spouse get yeah, because if it's a high paying job, you don't need two, two income. Two, oh, yeah, that's two, true. Two, two, two jobs. Yeah, that's true too. So it depends. Yeah, it all depends. It all depends, people, because yo, if I suppose um, lucky enough you know, to get a high paying job, then, then the one job they can offset all of the income. But just talking, just thinking about it from a, from a um, holistic point of view, more than likely, many, many persons have to start from the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, because of that, you have to work two jobs to offset the income. Because you understand, and everybody lucky enough to get a good job. So the spouse have to be willing to work for offset that thing. Because as a student, you have to also know say, oh, you can't work more than twenty hours unless school up and break. When school up and break, you can work as much as you want. Three, four jobs because you can manage. <laughs> Exactly, and you have to keep that in mind. Say, so, oh, you have to can, you can only work 20 hours, and many, many people don't know that they know, but they don't really know if you understand what I mean. They feel like, say, oh, the 20 hours is gonna be enough to cover all of them expense. They can pack one barrel, send go to Jamaica, they can send one little money, go give their mother here and there, or them whatever here and there. I'm not telling you, not no gossip at first. <laughs> when they just come, it's all about laying a foundation for fool yourself. Whether as an individual or as a family, say so I suppose I be willing to work. You understand? Not still a way that for work, no? No, if you guys watch my previous videos, you you, you know the history. Cleaner, housekeeper, warehouse clerk, no know the journey. So Nats get run ten jobs in a two year. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly speaking, <laughs> Nats get around got around ten jobs in a two in a yes, no, in a year. I had to turn down some just waiting my option to work out better. At so. one point, Nats had a three job. Nats had work as a janitor, Nats had work oh, as a housekeeper at two different hotels. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> and honestly speaking, they have to be willing to do that. 
right? But it's so much easier when you're here with your family because you can get a support there and thing and thing. Now, one thing I've put to you, you see, more your work and more tax. So I'm going to buy it. Because your, your paycheck, <laughs> you might calculate and say, yes, your work. Uh, what do I say? Roughly, say a thousand five. Those members said that a chap. <laughs> that was the time that I turn like chop. probably 12 bills. It's a good chop. It's a good turn like 12 bills. Um, but you still earn enough to cover your expense. And plus, the part time income we're from your, from your spouse, you got alright. You got alright. We're not, we're not painting a picture for say uh, it, it rough and it at worse. But mentally, you have to be uh, prepared for no say uh, the first two years. Is a, is a system like that? First two years, so your persons, your family back home, where expect a look up. You know, thing when you just land and you get a year, tell them, say, Yo, you're there at school, you can't help them out right now, just go on and thing like that. That's it. And many, many people put themselves in a situation where they might try to help other people back home, and it causes them to work more than 20 hours, and then it causes them to lose the immigration status, get sent back to the yard and all sorts of things. So I tell them to say, oh, it's not worth it, that's our first thing. So what you need to do is to make everybody know, say, oh, listen, you see this, this is for me and my family right now. We are a foundation. In our future, when things get all right, we can help you out and thing and thing. But be patient with it right now and don't look for nothing right now because you know the day and school fee is not cheap. You don't know the salary school fee is not cheap. Okay. Now, as an individual, in terms of say a family, say you're not a family and you're alone forward, and you don't have nobody to stay with as a fam, as a, a also you can go and catch or whatever. The best thing I would advise you to do is to live on campus. When you live on campus, it is the rent is cheap, er, not cheap, er. cheaper <laughs> than if you live off campus, and most of the the, the utilities them are already included. Right, in the in the in the rent we pay for the campus. So your part-time income, I can pay for your rent, your utilities, buy food, and all of them things. But you're not gonna have no way about space because it's a dorm room, it's a dorm apartment you're gonna live in, uh, pretty much, mm -hmm. right? What I'm gonna advise you for there for yourself, you don't know nobody. Stay on dorm at least for one semester. Make some friends. Make some friends. While well, let the them that one semester and I make friends, yeah, make friends who you have to eventually live with. And then all I want to know are two of or three of them decide to so rent either an apartment together or a house, or a house, house together. Really and then split the rent two way and three way. And so you, 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 you supplement that the part time income, they pretty much have to be very smart. You can operate on a part time income like you earn a full time income, it's not going to work because you never can pay rent. You know, you can buy a grocery, you know, you can, and thing and thing. And just like how you know, there Jamaica and broke, you can there foreign and broke too. And it's either foreign and broke, it was. Then when you're Jamaica and broke, because it's either Jamaica and broke, you can blink a friend, you can call past somebody and say, oh, squeeze my thing until we get paid, or squeeze my thing until we can, or whatever the case is, right, Tessa? You're yes, broke. Do you, you have to pay your bills. You have to pay your bills. And you know what, uh, you know what, uh, um, in another situation where um, you basically can't afford to pay your bills, you can't afford to buy groceries, especially as a student because they're going to take a toll on you psychologically. You know, we can focus on school and you're going to eventually um, do things you never want to do and stuff because you have to eat, right? So you have to, the, the ultimate thing is there's no way you're getting a before so you get you understand and all that other thing all right next thing too if you come and you're staying with family <laughs> be prepared to leave <laughs> i'm sorry some persons have good family i will keep them for have them for a long period of time but it's not everybody and thousands of people go to the same thing come come to canada come and leave their home stay in a family home for like three months and you know so you have to pack up and come out yeah you have your mind set you have your mind set you have your you have in three months you there or when you just come make sure you get try to get one part one job part-time job for your 20 hours or you can get the try to save as much money you can save because you have to go leave 
exactly exactly so you see when you're just landing up people your first intention and of it and of it look where the place look like well you want to see the place look like understand that you know but i don't like to dress up and go out for dinner and go and go up and or whatever no you have number one priority if you find a job get a job as quickly as possible at the first priority if you even learn you know come out of your yard until you find a job go up and we're going to do another video where we tell you guys um the five things to do after you land in canada that video that got dropped pretty soon stay true me now and leak not look at where i try to get review time up and i know the thing go. but what i say is um try to get a job as quickly as possible because you're going to start get bad fears you're going to start get bad vibes you're going to start get bad energy because it's like something wrong with some of them jamaican yeah. my tell you the truth it's like something wrong with some of them jamaican yeah. Two weekends, they say, yeah, man, you can't come, you can stay, you can't comfortable. You go stay, you can't, all right, I don't know, you don't have to move out until you're done school. And everything, all right, and thing, and thing, and thing, and thing, and thing, and thing, and start and thing, and thing, and start and thing, and thing, and thing, and thing, and and thing, 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 and you have to be prepared mentally for all of them things there so that you come what may, you are already prepared and you're already in a, a position where you can say, okay, but I didn't expect this anyway, so it's not going to really affect you the way or it would not affect you if you never expect it, right? Yeah. And we don't want that, people. And which is why we are trying to share these videos so you guys can have a clear understanding of what it is like as an international student. I know everybody have the stocks, if you know what I mean. I know everybody have the brick palm brick. I know everybody have that. Some people is just a normal working class people like like a two away. And thing and thing and, and we depend on, on a lot of help in terms of people if we can 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 give us strength to say okay, can stay here so for a while until we get power foot. And and many, many people who are watching the video right now they're not a situation there. So we are trying to tell you guys so, okay, be prepared mentally. No say as a student you can only work twenty hours and you don't want to violate that twenty hours there because it's very important. And yes people, no matter how you try to go around it, no listen to nobody and say yo, no, just do that job man, they're not gonna know, they're not gonna do this. Don't listen to nobody. Don't listen to nobody. You're a master because at the end of the day, at them see a call immigration pioneer as soon as you and them have an argument. You hear me tell them? At them see a call immigration. Hi, good day. How are you doing today? Um, you know, I got this friend, uh, I think she's on a study permit and uh, she's working more than 20 hours. Countless <laughs> stories about that. <laughs> exactly. Countless. And the worst thing I want to do and not being able to complete your studies and get all up and ship out of the country because what you work 30 hours instead of 20 hours because you want to pay your bills and you want whatever whatever it's all about strategy people it's all about being wise being creative and being smart you understand there's tons of ways to make income outside of working as if you can find one of them way there as well good good for you you can find it, you can hustle, you can make some money. But in terms of an actual job, in terms of you work for somebody and then pay you, under the counter or over the counter, you're putting yourself at risk if you work more than 20 hours. So how you survive on a part-time income, you have to be very smart, you have to be very creative, and you have to be very innovative. As a couple, as a family, your spouse have to understand that they are here, but them really and truly are going to do most of the work while they're there in at school. And now we can really support them. So you have to make sure, say, your spouse understand that too. If you say, yo, listen, I got school right now, I can only work 20 hours, which means say, yo, probably have to go work 70 and 80 hours to offset that income here. They have to be willing. They have to be understanding. They have to look on the end goal. They can't look on it and say, yo, I my money. Yo, may I bring up? No, it's full of money. I our money. I we are build this thing together and on that's a build our thing and them's a building thing. I we are doing thing. I see that now people me done school a full time employment. My work. <laughs> <laughs> Brighter days are ahead, see there? In the my shirt. Brighter days are ahead, people. You got through this right now, but it's temporary at that whole point. Don't make no struggle cause of fe 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 violate your study permit and get shipped out of the country. Be smart, be creative and find ways. 
a, a survive you know and say if you have a catch with a family you have a plan you get a job from before you start save some money you try to come up with a two month rent before you start doing your thing you understand because i tell you no be prepared be prepared my always there jamaica and here say you went to any time your family member tell us say yeah man i can't come stay with me man and everything good and rare 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 and then the first two nights I did this, they start walking around and like a flight in the house because them I say, oh, you run up there like Bill Olive and thing, and you don't want that because you want, you want to be able to, you want to be able to can focus on your studies and you want to be able to create a future and remember that this is a purpose. We all want to follow the foreign, we all want a better life for our family, and we all want. The, 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 the opportunities right we all want it so because we all want it we have to be very smart we have to be very wise and we have to be very careful in our own way so as you can see people in love bridge something better is a bit <laughs> we kind of cut it a little so guys that is like some of the things that we can tell you as being a part time student surviving as a family or just an individual <laughs> Catch you guys in the next video guys, please go and go subscribe and go and share two videos. Until the next video guys, the Andersons. Have a good day.